Hello everyone, it's your boy, Universal Soldier. I'm back with another great video for you guys. Downturn using the Type 9.5. Ugh, I hated Downturn. I really hated it. The first time I played Downturn, I got work. I got work hard. Just getting into the game, so it's going down. Um, the attachments for my Type 9.5 is Red Dot with rapid fire um perk well we'll say i have hardline hardline blind eye and steady aim pro hardline pro dude tried to jump but that shit was not going down yeah man this map right here this where i'm standing right here this is where the, the, it really goes down so i'm gonna stand in the thick of it where it goes down and i can get my kills up and hopefully i can get that moab you know so I always I tend to stay in this area right here, this, this little area. It's where the enemies tend to come and where, where the kill engagement confirmed. just see just they just keep coming. And when I play kill confirm, I bait the tag. And what I mean by that is I'll let the tag stay there for a little while if it's a wide open area. And then I wait for them to come and shoot them down. And they'll come back for the tag about two more times, two, three more times. That's two, three more kills. You know I mean? Bam. People just keep coming. They keep coming. You know what I'm saying? I'm not camping. I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? But in a way, you can say I'm camping. I'm not moving in way out, but I'm also, you know, trying to get a Moab. So, you know, you know, you got to play smart. When you're trying to play, get a Moab, when you're trying to get a Moab, you want to stay mostly towards the outside of the map. You know, scavenge up a couple of kills. Or you can do it this way. Sometimes I do it this way. When I... I'm, I'm in the in, in, in the hot. What is my friend doing? What in the world, dude? Ah, uh, he's funny though. Love that guy. Um. Anyway, I usually I stay towards the outsides of the map and I scavenge kills. Somebody comes out in that outside perimeter, I scavenge. But that could take too long, you know. So what I'll do is I'll get my seven kills for the specialist streak, and then. You know, I'll fall back and go back to it. I'll, I'll be in the, the hot points where the, we're in the thick of it. I mean, the thick of the firefight. I'll be there. And then, I got my kills. Then I'll stab it on the outside. You know, but it's not easy getting them all. I've gotten so close. Gotten 15 kills, gotten kills, gotten 20 kills, gotten kills. You know, all because I needed to really be. But Modern Warfare 3, I have to say, that some of the worst falls, downfalls about this game is... The spawn is horrible. This is why they should have came out with a beta. So they could already have this thing fixed. I, of course, the black guy goes down first. But yeah, the spawns are just horrible, man. It really good. Like, I'll spawn and I'll get shoot, shot by a quick scope. Or I'll spawn and I'll get shot in the back. Like, not even a millisecond. I'm dead. That's how it is, man. You know... So, Alright man, I mean, I like that you can still get kills off of your, um, your kill streak, but, you know, it doesn't work for the Moab, as you know. Um, I like that they finally got, you know, finally got a freaking vault, you know, thank God. Even though the vault was like robotic for like the first month, it changed. It's like they finally fixed that robotic, robotic movement. Thank God, you know, because when I was playing, it, it looked like the video was lagging, but it was just the robotic movement, the crashing bolt. But it's all good. I can't complain. Ah, oh, I got my, oh, my two-piece. Get on my level. I'm going ham, and I'm not talking about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going ham anymore. But yeah, man, I love downturn now. Um, 80% of the time, I play alone. But I don't suggest playing alone no more. Especially not for Modern Warfare 3. You want to be good. I suggest playing, playing with people you trust and you know that can hold the fucking line. You know what I'm saying? Play with them. You play with random and you're going to get work. I have gotten work. Carrying so many randoms it doesn't make no sense. Like you can see some of my... Go, go watch some of my videos. And you can see me doing work and, and these randoms just bringing me down. Uh oh, oh, shit. Bam. Gotcha. And engagements like that, man, you really is think fast or get killed quick. <laughs> so, you know, it's just the small stuff that really counts that'll 
that'll end up getting you your Moab or end up getting you that that Osprey Gunner or that that Juggernaut, you know, that AC-130, that Reaper. I don't even like the AC-130. Like, time, sure, I guess it can't be shot down as well. It can be shot down, but the time reloading the, the weapons. You can have already so many kills with the Reaper. Reaper is better than me. I love the Reaper. I use the Reaper. I've had the AC-130 a couple times. To me, it was a waste. Oh, baited his ass. That's how you got to do, man. A lot of people in <clears throat> Model 1 for 3 are just sneaky. You know, corner, corners, corner aiming bums. You know? Shame. You know? Poor guy. He never even thought of Scary, man. And that's how it is. <clears throat> a lot of, a lot of these big procedures you see. That doesn't mean they're good. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you right now, they have above a 2.4 ratio. They got a 3-4. They're playing with they're definitely playing demolition. You know, I played my first demolition today. Today was the 12th. It is the 10th. No, I'm sorry, the 10th of December. I played my first demolition today. Uh, but I don't really like it, you know. I don't like demolition. I just like kill confirm, TDM, domination, maybe some team defender, so on and so forth. But those people that have those high ratios, there's no way you can go into a room and play randoms all the time and have that high ratio. So if you see all those players, YouTubers with those high ratios, see that they're playing demolition, they're dashing. I'm gonna be real with y'all guys. I dash from occasionally. I'll be real. I'll be real with you guys. You know, I cannot keep playing with random people. Say my, I have nobody that's playing Model One for Three. If they are, they're already a whole party. You know, I cannot keep carrying random people. Like the, the randoms in this game is, is just worse than Black Ops. Worse than Model One for Two. It really is. It truly is. I've had this guy that was uh what. Two and thirty-five on my team. He was a, he was a what? First prestige. Enemy advanced like, UAV oh. spotted. All prestiges mean is you have some experience. All right, that's all it means. You have experience. Say, all right, so I uh, prestige, and uh, two, three weeks later, um, seventy level seventy-seven on prestige one. You have more knowledge than you do when you get into. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that means. But. Back, back to these big YouTubers with these crazy ratios. I'm not saying that they're not good. That's not what I'm not saying. What I'm saying is, though, that they're playing with a team. And if you want to be good, if you want those high ratios, you need to play with a team. Play with people you trust. Play with your friends. Ooh, that dude got one up. I'm too quick. Ooh, 5,000. I'm on one. Yeah, but um, play with a team, man. You're more likely to win and do better with the team or people that, that you can trust that you will know that you know will hold the front down line to hold the, the front line I'm sorry. but it's kind of hard sometimes you know friends be doing uh what they do playing skyrim or 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 you know whatever but at the end of the day man you know eventually you're gonna have to play by yourself and when, when you're warming up, I suggest playing a TDM. Don't just hop into a domination. Another thing that will help your ratio is, all right, if you hop into a game and the team that you're on is 30 and they all don't have probably not even 10 kills, but they got like 30 deaths. And you see that they're getting an the action. Like, it's clearly you're not going to be able to stop this clock. Don't do it. Now, if the game is just started in 0-0, zero, zero, I would join. If the game is, if they're winning by 50 points, I'd join, you know, because that's all. I'd join, but if the game is, if, the, if you think you cannot win that game, don't join. You know, small stuff like that. It's the small things that really have, that count towards the ratio. And I'm not, don't get me wrong, I love my ratio and everything, because it's like my average. All your ratio is your average kills. You know what I'm saying? A game. And I want to have a high average. Watch my boy, though. I love y'all guys, man. Universal Soldier. Watch my boy, Elite Jew. I don't know what, how the freak he did this. But you got him good. I'm like, hey, you see me busting? I got you, man. I got you. 
Subscribe, man. Love y'all guys. Universal Soldier.